Interrobang Hipster Darlings, I'm Nina, you're the Interrobang Hipster Darlings, and today we're going to talk about Comic-Con because I know you're all dying to hear about it. I got up at 6.30 to leave the house at 7.30. I actually got up a little bit earlier than that because I was anxious and nervous and so excited. And we left at 7.30 and we stopped at the neighborhood Bucky's where I got some caffeine and we got some gas and drove more up to Austin, which was fun. And then I got there at about 8.45, which was, which was a good time. And I, I walked into the convention center, and there was this crowd of people. It was fantastic. Uh, I went all the way to the very, very end where they had the VIP booth and got my stuff. Got into the VIP line because I got to go in 30 minutes early. As you guys remember, the big part of this was that I got to meet Eliza Duscu, who is for about 15 years my idol. Um, and she was fabulous and fantastic. This is the badge that I got to wear all day. It was fun and cute. And it's got this Wizard World VIP experience thing on the back of it. And it's just really nice. It was fabulous. And so I got into the thing, into the actual convention at about 9-ish, nine, 9.30-ish, nine 9.30-ish. Uh, I walked around. The ex exhibition hall for about, about an hour, half an hour for just the VIPs. It was fantastic. It was fabulous. I got to meet a bunch of cool people. I got to see all the artists and all of the, the groups that were doing things before there was 80 million people clamoring into their booth. And then at about 10.30, I got into the line, the signing line for Eliza Dushku. And that was about a minute and a half before she got there, which was fantastic because I was in the VIP line, so it was really easy, it was really fast to get to her. And the guy in front of me was talking about Dollhouse because he had a, one of the staff jackets from Dollhouse because his friend had worked on it. And I got to tell her that Dollhouse originally aired on my birthday in, I think, 2009. I'm pretty sure it was 2009, and that was a very special day. And so I told her that it just, my birthday had just passed, and she said happy birthday to me. And this is the picture I got signed. It's very pretty, I really like it. It's hanging behind my camera now. And so she said happy birthday to me, and I got out of the signing line, and I had a little bit of a cry moment, because that was, that was just a perfect moment. It was just beautiful and so I walked around for about 30 minutes and then got into the VIP picture line and she remembered me from the signing line uh, and she asked me if I was the birthday girl and I said yes and so we took our picture together it was really happy and then she commented how we were wearing similarly maroon shirts <laughs> and I love this picture a lot I think it's one of the happiest pictures that I've been <laughs> I, I've, I'm really happy in normal life, but it's not very well conveyed on camera sometimes. It was just fantastic, and so I went around the con and had a great time and went to some panels, one about vampire lore, which was, was fantastic. I loved it. It was just shiny and cool, and it had a lot to do with the things I'm into right now. The speaker on that panel was the moderator for the Q&A panel at 2 and it was just fantastic. She was a great person. She was a Bostonian like Eliza. It was just perfect and beautiful. So then at 2 I got to go to the Eliza Q&A panel and I got into the express line again because that's one of the things that they were doing was that I could just get into the VIP line and it was too. It was easy. I got in and Literally, I'm sitting in the first row, on the right, three seats in. So I am like at the forefront of the room. It is fantastic and fabulous. And so she's asking all these, she's answering all these questions, and I get up, and I go into the, 
into the question line and I ask her my question, which was, how was it, how did you feel working with Alan Rickman? Because she's done two movies with Alan Rickman and it, they're both fabulous. I suggest going to check them out. She answered my question, but not before she called me out in front of the entire panel room asking me if I was the birthday girl again. And yes, I told her. And so she told me happy birthday in front of the entire panel room. It was just fabulous and was one of those things that's once in a lifetime. And after the panel was done, I actually had people coming up to me saying happy birthday to me and just having a good time. It was one of the most special days of my life. And I've had a lot of special days and I'm really thankful for that. This was just one of those things that can't ever be replicated. Like, this is something that I will cherish forever. A lot of people don't remember their 21st birthday because they're busy getting drunk. But I I decided to go a different way and I'm really glad I did. Because this will be something that I get to tell my kids about. And I, I'll get to tell people about. And I can say that I've done this. And for a first con experience, it was pretty amazing. I will have probably a haul video next week. You have already seen one of the things because I gesticulate my arms rampantly. This bracelet was from the Dallas or Austin Brown Coats. I don't remember which city they're affiliated with. They do a lot of work for charity. They're the organization largely based around Firefly and Serenity and they're just amazing and I really like them. But I will do a full more comprehensive haul next week. If you're new you could subscribe that would be awesome or not whatever no judgment. If you could like this video down there, that would be amazing too. You're really, really helping me out that way. Share on your Facebooks, Tumblrs, Twitters, blogs, etc, etc. Maybe even the smoke signals. You never know. They could work. And I will see you next time. Mwah. 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 Bye, guys.